Hey guys and welcome back to Naruto episode 100. I feel like we should be doing something. I feel like we should have a big celebration. 100 episodes. That's a lot of episodes. That's a lot of episodes. Just for, for anything. Like even for like a Let's Play series that I used to do on my other channel. Like that's a lot of episodes. Uh, congratulations. See if you've watched them all. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a pat on the back. And you better be subscribed. Okay? You ain't watching no 100 episodes without hitting the subscribe button, because that's messed up. That's messed up, okay? You t take me for a ride. I, I need that number to feel a sense of validation and self-worth that I, I find difficult to get through any other means in my, in my life. <laughs> Holy kidding, I don't really care about the numbers. The only number I care about is my bank balance, which is hideously low, I guess. It's not really. I'm, do I'm doing alright. <laughs> Die tribes with Steejo. Oh, that's a new segment that should be introduced, but not to this channel, because this is for anime reactions. It's in the name. It's Steejo's reaction for my reactions, not Steejo's diatribes, because then I'd have to create a full new channel with new branding, and I can't be bothered doing any more branding. I've already done it for three separate YouTube channels, four separate, five separate YouTube channels. I'm not doing it again. I I'm no, I'm done with branding. But episode 100, in the last episode, um... It was apparently a filler, but then everyone in the comments was like, no, Stejo, it's a mixed canon filler, but it's not really a mixed canon filler, because the website tells me if it's a mixed canon filler, so I believe you're wrong, the website is right, and we could all go to bed now. No, I, I do understand how it would be a mixed canon filler, um, the, the filler part obviously being the, the Naruto uh, Konohamaru side story that was happening, which was, which was fine, I liked it. it, it delved into obviously the struggles of Konohamaru just losing his grandfather I feel like um if you've ever lost someone important to you in your life then you you, you can empathize with the little Konohamaru and what he's kind of going through and then we had obviously the uh Lady Tsunade um basically going more into a role as the fifth Hokage which was really nice and that was kind of the bit that was like oh how it's not really filler is it uh and apparently, I don't, I don't think it was. I think that maybe that was, like, maybe mentioned in the manga or something. Um, because, no, it, de it definitely didn't seem like filler. Um, regardless of whether it wasn't in the manga or was in the manga, I'm going to certify this right here as canon. It is not filler. And, yeah, you've been told. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I think we're going to see... I hope we're going to see the, um, the, the surgery and the outcome of that with Lee. Because I, I, I want Lee to be fighting fit. Uh, he, he's to be my fighting dreamer. So, <laughs> oh god. Anyway, um, without further ado, I've already done the, the subscribe plug, so we don't need to do that. So let's get in and down to episode 100. Cheers, thank you, bye-bye! See you tomorrow. Okay, keep working on that jutsu. Transformation takes a lot of practice. Oh, and be sure to remind your parents about the big inauguration. We usher in the fifth Hokage tomorrow. Okay, bye! I mean, I'm sure their parents would know. Like, surely everyone in the Leaf Village should know by now. Konohamaru! What is it? Aruka sensei mm, Oh, nothing. I I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Aruka sensei He's just a mini Naruto. Get a bit of a breakthrough. Oh, Lee! Oh, my mind. Back from rehabilitation? Um, yes, I am. I hope you're off to a speedy recovery. Thank you, Aruka Sensei. I don't know what sort of drugs the artist was on when they drew that last panel, but Lee looked like he was off his face on something. Like, uh. <laughs> to activate all of his cells at once. If it were just one by one, it'd be a snap, but all of them together. That'll be tough. You need to tell Lee what you need, because Lee'll do anything. And then he'll do it again just to make sure. <sighs> to be a splendid ninja. It's best if you give up being a shinobi. Find a different path. I like that Tsunade was the one that was like so negative. Gojutsu! It reminds me of uh, Gohan. It's such a shame he can't do any jutsu apart from tai jutsu. The glory of youth is in its unbridled passion. You just keep chipping away at it, son. You'll make a splendid shinobi someday. 
Oh, Guy Sensei. He is so confident. Grab hold of life by both horns. That's what youth is for. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yep, confident is, uh, is, is definitely one word for it. That was the first time I met Guy Sensei. And then. As of today, you are all getting. So now tell me, why have you done it? I want to be a splendid ninja! I want to show I can be a splendid ninja as well! Even if I do not have ninjutsu or genjutsu! I want to prove it to the whole world! You were a splendid ninja, Lee. You think I am joking? I mean it! I will be a splendid ninja just by using taijutsu! And you will be the most splendid taijutsu ninja ever to exist. Do you remember when they told you you were the first person to graduate who could only use taijutsu? They weren't saying that because it was impressive. They only meant that it was unusual. No, it was impressive. Are you kidding me on? Just because you're thinking Orochimaru style of like, oh, well, you need to know all the fancy tricks. No, just need to know how to kick someone in the face. With the right amount of passion and some healthy competition to spur each other on, you'll all be great ninja. You'll still have to work your butts off, though. Passion. <laughs> I, I was captivated by Guy Sensei. By what he said and what he did. We were captivated by his passion. It's interesting because we were talking about that before. I was talking about that to one of my friends about hobbies and strange hobbies and and passion's great. If you don't have passion, what's wrong with you? We've tied each other at 48 wins. Today's face-off will put one of us in the lead. <sighs> You're not going to take no for an answer, are you? Alrighty then. It's my turn to name the challenge. Oh. A round of taijutsu, a hundred meter dash, holding our breath, or an eating contest, maybe. Oh, boy. So they're challenging each other to see who who's better at the day. And I'm assuming that just keeps their own training going. Lay it on me. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> it's not all about skill. Sometimes you need a little luck. It'll be a good way to test your powers of observation. I was gonna say, can Kakashi cheat with a Sharingan though? Is that possible? Alright, you're on. And I aim to win. If I lose, I'll take 500 laps around the Leaf Village on my hands, too. There you go again. That's a promise! Great. Another one of his oddball self-imposed rules. And what happens if Kakashi loses? That is impossible, even for Guy Sensei. Reckless is what I'd call it. Why is it reckless? Sometimes, if you give yourself unrealistic goals, you actually meet them. <laughs> I thought I'd find you here. Guy, Guy Sensei, how did you know where to look for me? I know everything about you, Lee. I hear you've been skipping out on your physical therapy. You know better. It's like he's lost his spark. And a Lee without a spark is like a, a, a lighter without a spark. Just, just full of gas. I remember you told me that with the right amount of passion and some healthy competition, we would all be great ninja. And to make it happen, we would have to work for it. You do have to work for it. Back in the academy, there was not a single person, sensei or student, who said that kind of thing to me. I mean, it is strange that you can't use anything except taijutsu. You lifted the fog from my eyes. I knew all I had to do was work harder. That's the thing though, if you've got someone that can like use taijutsu like bloody Goku. Work was no match against true genius. You told me I was a genius of hard work. Thanks to you and your encouragement, I finally learned the importance of believing in myself. So what are you going to do, Lee? not the same this time even if i believe in myself and try as hard as i can it will not make the slightest difference and you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe that someone else will try as hard as they can tell me what to do i can't tell you what to do man how come i am the only one being punished like this tell me what should i do the eight inner gates a forbidden jutsu one can die using what do i do you can't ask him what to do because if you end up dying, then that's on Guy. And then Guy couldn't live with himself. That means everything to me! 
I mean, if your dream means everything to you and you were willing to die for it before, then you've already made the decision that you're struggling so hard to make right now. You tried to become a great ninja relying only on Taijutsu. Until now, that's all you had. It must be painful, knowing all your hopes and dreams are about to be ripped away from you. Like, I, I can't imagine it. Like, I can't imagine something like that happening and you're losing everything, you know? If you wish to be freed of this suffering, you need to make a decision! Do you mean that I should be prepared to give up on my dreams? I need to make a decision either way, dude. You'll undergo pain far worse than what you feel now. The two of us have a lot in common, Lee. Without our ninja way to guide us, you and I would never survive. Oh. Get the operation, Lee. <sighs> oh, guy. What's your nindo guy? What's your ninja way? Any progress with the cell activation jutsu? At the end of the day, this is all about chakra. But with so many different types of cells, skin, internal, muscular, to activate them all at once, ah, it's gonna be a bit difficult. And how does that work with someone like Lee? Could Lee open the gates and help with the, the cell regeneration? Because then he's got a higher chakra flow. You know it is funny, but I, I remember when you and Kakashi Sensei decided to compete against each other with a game of rock, paper, scissors. He was saying that skill was not enough, that sometimes you need luck. And this surgery is 50-50 too. Live or die. But this is not some kid's game. It's not, but like Guy says, if you were to live your life after that without any sort of, like your dreams literally being impossible. 500, as promised. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why anyone would laugh. The guy's literally doing 500 laps on his arms. After that, he could probably like punch your head through any wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't get why they would laugh. Like that just shows such dedication, such strength, such power of will, you know? This is nothing. Let's go see his hands would be wrecked though. Lee, what are you doing out here I'm so late? What about you? It is not like Akashi sensei is out here to see this, and neither is anyone else for that matter. <clears throat> when a man struts around like a peacock acting like Mr. Big Stuff, he should keep his promises, even if it kills him. That's very true. That's very true. Why do you do this? Every time you're about to start something, you make up these crazy rules. <sighs> <laughs> now that's an excellent question, Lee. I've got to hand it to you, son. You always get right to the point. Okay, I'll tell you. But remember, this is just between you and me. I'd be interested to know. The point of all these rules is to stack the deck against yourself each and every time you set your sights on a new objective. It's about giving yourself an obstacle. Instead of seeing it as 500 laps of punishment for losing, I see it as the path of beating Kakashi the next time. By leaping that hurdle, it'll be that much easier to achieve my next goal. And that's literally what Lee's entire training regimen was. And besides, even if you lose, I still have put in several hundred laps around the village. If you want to toughen up, it's the ultimate two-step program. I said, if you don't win, then you've got to uh, force yourself to do some training. To make sure that you're gonna win. Don't push yourself, Lee. If I cannot keep up with you, Guy Sensei, that means I just have to push myself even harder. Huh? <laughs> and as long as I keep at it, I am sure to be a splendid ninja someday. That is a promise. Wow. If you aren't able to keep up with me for the rest of my laps around the village, I'll put every last ounce of my being into training you. <sighs> If I train you with all my soul, there's no question you'll become a splendid ninja. That's a promise. Oh god. That is so adorable. I can't even. How could I forget? It was the day when you first taught me the principles behind our self-imposed rules. You worked hard, Lee. There's no doubt in my mind the surgery will be a success. <laughs> you have the power to shape your own destiny. And on the one in 1,000, no, one in a million chance something should happen to go wrong. 
I will die right along with you. Oh, oh, that got me. That got me. Like a stab in the chest, that got me. Nintendo has been to train you to become the most splendid ninja possible. That's a promise. Oh, onion cut ninjas. They're back again. No. <laughs> you know what's interesting though? We haven't heard anything of Lee's parents. I know obviously Guy treats him like a son, but we haven't heard anything about his actual parents. <laughs> Oh, looks like she's managed to uh, increase that rate of survival. Oh, she's wearing the whole Kage outfit! Wait, is Shizune missing the inauguration of Tsunade? <laughs> From this day on, I shall protect the Hidden Leaf Village as the fifth Hokage! Yay! Well done, Lady Tsunade, you sucker. Now your face gets to be moulded onto Mount Hokage more. That was good. I like that. I like that episode. That was a good episode. Alright, yeah. I like that episode. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I can't, uh... I cannot complain. Uh, it had, uh, the feels. The feels that tore at my heartstrings. Um... It had, it had a little bit of uh, the funny haha, and uh, it looks like we're going to get, we've got a 58% chance for Lee to win. For Lee to win. <laughs> win. Yes. Survive, more like. And uh, yeah, I can't, unfortunately, I can't do 58% with a bicycle card. It doesn't, it, 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 does, it doesn't work like that. I probably could, but it would require some fantastic geometry and folding and all sorts of things that I know absolutely nothing about. So maybe we won't do that and maybe instead we'll just let the anime decide whether Lee lives or dies instead of trying to do it ourselves. But unfortunately that's all we've got time for in this episode so as always thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steejo, you've been awesome and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.